it's Jamie from Guildbrook Farm and today I'm going to take you guys along and share with you guys how we learn a new skill. So what have we been up to the last couple weeks? Well, we've been super busy around here uh, cleaning up. There's been a lot of debris from storms. We've had storms for two months and there's a lot of debris on the ground. We've been cleaning up, burning those piles, uh, cleaning up a lot of just piles of junk that's been laying around here. Um, we've been prepping for winter. Uh, we're covering up the wood piles so that we can get those dried out, uh, insulating our solar shed, our battery shed. Uh, Jeremy's getting that ready for winter. Uh, we'll be insulating the um, pressure tank as well for the water. And we've been finalizing our house plans. Uh, Jeremy is in the final stages of the layout of our house. And so hopefully we'll be sharing that with you soon. So a lot of you guys are new to the channel and I just wanted to give you guys a quick recap as to just how far we've come. Uh, when we started on this journey, about almost four years ago, uh, we had absolutely no skills whatsoever with anything homesteading related. Uh, we didn't know anything about food preservation, about livestock care, chickens and pigs and goats. Uh, we knew nothing about really building anything, uh, knew nothing about um, solar for sure certainly knew nothing about designing a home. So how is it that somebody with no previous knowledge or skills or experience whatsoever in those particular areas can come to uh, be where we're at in, in uh, an off-grid property in Appalachia and doing what we're doing? Well, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how we do that. So over the last couple weeks while Jeremy has been designing our house, I've taken that opportunity to learn a new skill myself, which is art. Art's always something that I have been interested in. I just really haven't had the opportunity to sit down and learn it. Uh, when I was back in um, my high school days, I used to draw a lot, uh, but the only media that I had really available to me was a number two pencil. So I would uh, sketch what I saw around me into a little handmade notebook that I had stapled together. And uh, that was about the extent of my art. I never took any art classes uh, beyond what they offered in high school, which was you know, pretty limited. Um, but it's always something that has been of interest to me. And really now that I'm living in such a beautiful area and I'm inspired by all kinds of things around me, uh, I really want to get back in touch with nature and really observe what it is that I'm seeing around me and capture those moments and put that on paper because it really is a passion for me to um, see things and and I just want to I want to put that down on paper but I just don't have that ability so learning art for me is a skill that enables me to live in the moment and really observe what's going on but art also helps in other areas as well so it helps in things such as t-shirt design uh, it helps in things such as our videography and how we frame things how we shoot things um, and our thumbnails and how we present those to you guys uh, so art really plays a role in a lot of different parts of our lives but I really haven't had the chance to learn that until now, so I'm going to take you guys along with me and share with you how I am learning art. Alright, so I'm going to walk you through my process for learning a new skill. And it's the same for both Jeremy and myself. The very first thing that we do is we research ad nauseum. Uh, as much as we can possibly get our hands on, and usually this means researching on the internet. Now obviously it's always better to intern with somebody or to have a mentor, um, but that's not always the case in most situations. So when we don't have someone to ask or to talk to about a certain topic that we're trying to learn about, then we go to the internet and try to find those experts online. This is why we think it is so important to have access to internet even if you are deciding to live in an off-grid location. Uh, you want to be able to grow as a person and to learn new skills. So. We feel that having access to the internet is crucial for growing as a person. So the very first thing we do, research, research, research. Now there are a lot of different resources online for learning absolutely anything you want to know. Some are good, some are bad. One that I found recently um, is Skillshare. Skillshare um, offered a, a two months of free subscription service and I signed up for that and have been learning drawing. But there are a lot of other different classes on there that Jeremy's taking as well, and even the kids are taking some classes on there. They have um, coding, they have architecture on there, they have, uh, they even have a couple canning classes on there. Uh, but pretty much anybody who is an expert in their area uh, can go on there, make a video series on a topic, and teach it to whoever wants to learn it. And so I have been on there watching videos nonstop as to how to learn art. And to date, in the last couple weeks I have watched or taken over 50 classes on that on that uh, site not 50 
videos, 50 classes. So when I say I research something, I really, really research it a lot. Now the next phase is testing on a small scale. So what I did is I went to Walmart and I purchased some cheap art supplies. I didn't go to Dick Blick or any uh, really expensive site and order uh, really expensive supplies just getting started. I got cheap supplies. I got this notebook here from Walmart for under five bucks and I got a pencil set for under five bucks that came with some charcoal and some other this eraser and some other things in there um, that I started practicing what I was watching in the videos. And then once I felt like I've leveled up enough in that area, I went and started watching some other videos, such uh, art videos on charcoal. And I started learning how to do charcoal drawings. And then I got a couple more charcoal pencils to do what I needed to do for those videos. But the important thing that I want to stress is that you research as much as possible from as many different sources as possible. You don't want to listen to just one particular artist or one particular person in any particular area. You start small. Don't go out and, and buy a ton of things for whatever it is you're trying to learn. Start on a really small scale and then continue to build those skills over time. That is our process for learning new skills. So now I'm going to get really, really brave and just show you my process over the last couple of weeks and how it has changed and, and improved just by taking some courses. All right, so ver here's the very first um, portrait that I had drawn before I take, took any classes. This is after one week of classes. And this is after two weeks of classes. This is me learning how to draw hands in week one. This is after taking a couple classes. And these are after two weeks of classes and adding some watercolor. This is my first attempt at trying to draw a chicken. This is after one week of classes. And this is after starting to learn watercolor. Here are some eyes when I just started taking one class. Here's an eye after a couple more classes. And this is two weeks after taking anatomy sketching courses. So while art might not be of interest to uh, some of you guys out there, I think it is a really good way of showing how you can very easily progress by expanding your knowledge and by taking uh, classes from other experts in the field because you can visually see how you are improving. Whereas if I were showing, you know, Jeremy and his house designs or showing uh, how I was learning about chickens or showing how I was learning about goats or, or whatnot, um, it's really hard to see the knowledge that you're gaining from that. So that's why I wanted to do this video on art because it is a visual manifestation of the knowledge that I am learning so that you can truly see that progress as I'm learning it. So hopefully I'll continue to improve on that level and uh, who knows where I'll be in uh, say a couple more weeks or a couple months or more. Uh, if there's enough interest, I may do a couple videos and showing that progress uh, over the fall and winter because this is gonna be a great hobby while I'm trapped indoors uh, as the uh, days start to get a lot shorter and uh, the uh, nights get a lot colder. So I'll leave a link to Skillshare down below if any of you guys are interested in checking it out. I highly recommend you guys get on there and just kind of see all the different classes that are on there. And uh, you guys will get two free months of unlimited classes. Just binge watch kind of like I did and uh, maybe learn something new. Hopefully that's been helpful to you guys. Uh, we will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Alice Cooper. <laughs>